Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Cosmos Astro. So this is a follow on video from my peer, one that I did, uh, part two if you like of the observatory build. So I'm going to be covering um, what I've done so far, which isn't actually a lot, it's just laying the uh, actual platform. I'm going to cover a few key features of that, um, what I've done, how I've done it, and why. Um, also cover a few things that I might uh, do or could have done differently and also give you some costings of how much it's cost so far. So without any delay. Uh, let's get started. So I decided to go for a whole concrete pad. I'll show you some of the key features I mentioned. Uh, we'll just give you an idea of the size. Uh, it was, so the outer dimensions of the observatory itself is going to be 2 meters 71 by 2 meters 40. And so it was just a little bit bigger than that. I left a little sort of lip. Um, it was about 5 inches on one side and it's about 12 inches on the other side here behind me. And that's because of the way it laid. Um, I used about two ton, uh, over two ton, I see two ton and a quarter of ballast, which is sharp sand and gravel mix, and 21, 25 kilogram bags of cement. Uh, a lot of work, six hours it took about, and I felt like 190 years old after it. <laughs> I was, I was knackered. Not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, that that was that. Uh, I could have made this a lot smaller, you know, um, and but. I wanted this to be operational. Uh, I wanted to be able to walk around it before I can get the structure up. I didn't want to be walking around rubble. I also wanted a concrete barrier, so I was going to concrete it either way because we live near the countryside. We get like field rats, field mice, and some other little critters. I didn't want them to have an excuse to get under, invite the mates around for a party, and it just wouldn't have been great. So that was the reason behind that. Um, of course, you can do sort of concrete platforms um, a sort of wooden raised structure on stilts if you like uh, a good example of that would be um, I'll leave the link in the description for this channel uh, Dave's Astro Photography he's got a really quite high one actually um, and he's got his dome plunked on the top I just recently built a, be uh, a pier for that I'll, I'll maybe leave a couple of links to his videos give you an idea of that uh, but yeah that, that's another way you can do it of course the more materials you use that the more costly it's going to be so you know and um, by all means i could have if i was going to get this build done in in a week or two you know i could have done it smaller and just rafted it across it wouldn't have made a difference so key features of this platform well first of all i've laid uh, some bricks around the perimeter i've already given you the dimension of that and um, i've already double checked everything's level everything's um spot on with the measurements i used blue engineering bricks quite a heavy brick and a good looking brick i think actually um if you can get a good looking brick and um, but the main reason for this is i wanted a solid brick and um, it's going to make things a lot easier when i put the frame on uh, so that was the reason behind that i got uh, 60 of them all together i'm gonna probably need maybe another 10 and that'll be just to lay them around certain areas of the platform here uh, for when i lay the actual floor um, i've already got about doesn't left over. So our next key feature would be I put some duct work in. Uh, so with the pier build, I need to drop that. Uh, with the pier build, I put in um, this for the cable management in the centre of the pier, and it's uh, got a 92 and a half degree bend. Um, it's all right. Uh, it's still a little tight though, you know, um, but it, it may do. So I thought I would improve on this one, and um, because the duct system's a bit bigger. So where I'm actually sitting here, I've got two ducts here that lead one of the two ducts will pop out the concrete here um, and it looks a little bit like this this uh, 135 degree bend so I've, I've got to double up instead of using one bend I'm using two with a bit of pipe in between but that's pretty much what it looks like uh, and yeah that is ideal to be fair I've already pushed it off through and yeah no res restriction whatsoever uh, and I've also got another two ducts that lead out of the observatory and go about a couple of metres to the end of my greenhouse and they're capped off just so no little beasties and moisture and that can get in and I'll just bury them for now because I'll probably be one of the last things I do take it out to the building and run it into my office that I'm building as well now uh, the amount of ducks I put two in uh, I don't know if that's overkill but my philosophy on this was um, have them and not need them rather than need them and not have them eight inches between each duct and the reason for that is because i was thinking maybe power and ethernet cable uh, you can get in the frames from power so i've kept that separacy i could have done them through one duct and have uh, like shielded 
cable um, that'll work but yeah um, it is what it is I'm not going to get in the way um, but yeah I'm happy with them to secure these uh, these are just push fit uh, easy to put together but um, I decided to put some silicon around also tape them just to make sure they weren't coming loose uh, you know around being safe and sorry didn't want to be pouring the concrete and things come loose and then yeah that would have been game over on that one so yeah um, that's that. Next, and uh, no doubt you've heard this one before, I've left uh, a gap between the platform to the pier. Just keep it separate, it's going to minimise that vibration. Just in case I do decide I want to do the moonwalk in the middle of an uh, image session, I'm not going to disturb it much. And of course, when I lay the floor, eventually I won't be touching, but we'll get to that when, it, <laughs> when I get to it. And last but not least, before I laid the bricks, I uh, put damp cores in. I've used liquid. DPM um, damp proof membrane. I showed that in my observatory, uh, not my observatory build, my peer build video. Um, uh, great stuff. I sort of laid that. I am actually going to coat the outside of the bricks with that as well. Maybe if I've got any left, maybe do the top of the bricks just to double make sure. But yeah, um, that's just to stop any rising damp if it does uh, decide it wants to come up. It's going to help protect because um, obviously building the wooden structure on top of the bricks it's gonna stop that dam getting up onto that so would I actually change anything um, I don't think I would to be honest uh, I'm, I'm happy where it is I did think about it long and hard and what I was gonna do um, I mean I suppose you don't need to maybe lay the bricks I've trusted it just to raise it a bit it made sense to me um, you know damp proofing um, I had the paint already so you know I, I thought I'd utilize that um, you don't have to do that uh, again it made sense for me to do that so yeah um i'm i'm happy with that um but like i said th there is a number of ways you can do things you know how you build your your observatory is totally up to you where as long as it works i think probably so far put these on i'll wrote these down because i'll never remember the numbers so the bricks uh i've got 60 of them and i have I'm going to need another 10 of them, so I paid 61, but I'm going to say about £71. Uh, the cement, 110 quid. Uh, two tonne of ballast was 60, and then I had to get the extra bags, which was about 30 quid. Uh, I did get discount on all that, um, along with the 35 degree bends. On um, They were like £1.60. Uh, all, all in all, it was 15 quid. Uh, obviously, the piping as well, 40 millimetre pipe. Um, three pound fifty each uh, so i spent about 14 quid on that um again i got discount on that um roughly 300 quid i hadn't included on that uh the frame and the wood for the shuttering that was extra cost or so, yeah a lot of money i did mention in the video i did mention in the description though the cost of the pier that was 250 quid that i still think is a budget pier build you know, if you buy some of these um, purpose-built seal piers and that, they ridiculous prices. Even second-hand, by the way, I looked down that route, um, and even then, it's still cheaper. Um, and that's just the that alone. Um, again, you know, these costings it all depends when you build stuff, um, how the economy's going. Now, ironically, if I was to build that pier again now, it'll cost me more. The pier depth alone's gone up a tenner. Some things have doubled in price. Um, yeah, uh, the cost of living's gone up. Uh, so yeah, if I was to build all this a year ago, it'd be a lot cheaper. Um, I'm sure. So yeah, that's where we're at now. Uh, 550 quid. Uh, I haven't even started the frame. I've already had a look at that, at the price and that. It's not cheap. Uh, wood has ridiculously got in price. So yeah, well, uh, I suppose watch that bit of this space. Obviously, videos will be coming, and um, once I built built it all up, and I'll let you know what I've done, how I've done it, and yeah, costings on that. Uh, hopefully, um, it's still going to be. I, I would imagine it's still going to be cheaper than getting someone in to, to build it. Uh, that's for sure. So uh, leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been helpful. Found it interesting or both. And um, yeah. Watch this space for the next installment. Take care, everyone. Clear skies, and of course, bye for now.